Welcome back, Wolfpack Brolis here, and this is how to use Cresselia. Yes, Cresselia is OP. I mean, legendaries that are usable are definitely OP, especially when we break down how tanky Cresselia is. This is some overpowered tank stats right here. 120 on the hit points, 120 on the defense, and 130 on the special defense. No Pokemon that is allowed in common play should have these stats, but yet Cresselia does, which is why we see it in many different forms of the game, mostly doubles, and I can't wait to talk about it because Cresselia is a very powerful toolkit. That's like a Swiss Army Knife, that whatever you want it to have, it's kind of similar to Drapion, but just in a much more powerful way, that you can just kind of put whatever you need your team to have on Cresselia. It can be offense, it can be setup, it can be support, it can be speed control, it's whatever you need it to be, and that's why it works so well. Also, it's so tanky that your opponent's going to have a very hard time removing it at any stage of the game, that they're either going to have to boost to one-shot it, or they're just going to have to try to chip at it away, but at the same time, it's just Cresselia. It's a tanky Pokemon. It's putting out threat, but it's not the most threatening Pokemon. There's a Cresselia next to like a Mega Kangaskhan, or some kind of Mega Pokemon, or just a heavy hitting sweeper, you have a very tough decision to make. Do I let Cresselia keep setting up and destroying me, or do I take out the Pokemon that's directly destroying me? So it does create a lot of really hard decision making, that's mostly with the tanky stats. As for the other stats, 70 attack, 75 special attack, it's a Pokemon that just refuses to take damage, it doesn't need to deal damage, and then 85 speed, that's whatever. We find some outspeeds, we might just try to go for Trick Room, it's a crazy Pokemon. Look at its typing, it's going to be a Psychic typing, and Psychic typing is pretty consistent. So we have Bug, Ghost, and Dark Weaknesses. That's it. So really the biggest problem for Cresselia is going to be a couple of Dark moves, like Knock Off is a pretty big one for Cresselia, but that's kind of it. Sucker Punch might threaten it, but mostly it isn't going offense. Ghost, not super common, but we will see a Shadow Ball from time to time. And Bug, again, not super common, but some po mm. But sometimes we'll see a very powerful Bug-type Pokemon. So overall, it's a tanky Pokemon that doesn't have much to fear. Also has a Levitate ability, so it does get that immunity to ground, and then some resistances as well, so just a very consistent Pokemon. Hopping to Pokemon Showdown, I'm going to start off with a singles and a double set that if you want to use Cresselia in singles, it's definitely a Calm Mind setter, and it's one of the beefiest Calm Mind Pokemon in the game, because we look at it like this. 100 base hit points, 120 on defense, 130 on the special defense. We can go with a Bold Nature, just max out hit points, max out defense, puts us at 444 hit points with 372 defense, and then almost 300 on the special defense without even investing special defense. You can go hard special defense investment, and some Pokemon don't even see 300 when you're trying to make them a tank. Like, let's look at Clefable. If we just tried to run it the other way, you know, that's going to be 279 without a special defense of nature and max investment. So Clefable is going to be a comparable Pokemon. Suicune going to be a comparable po Pokemon as well. But as far as Calm Mind Pokemon go, Cresselia is at the top because it doesn't have to worry about a lot of things. Now with the uh, Fairy Typing becoming very powerful, you know, we're going to see a lot more Steel type Pokemon in the game. Clefable gets quite a bit of threat, but again, Dark types, unless you're going up against a Stall Breaker with Knock Off, Knock Off's only going to like severely harm you once, and then there's not going to be too much else behind it, and there aren't as many boosting Pokemon with like Knock Off and stuff as there are with other moves. So, Cresselia can set up really well, and I'm actually surprised I don't see it as much in singles, because Suicune and Clefable are very powerful combine Pokemon. The idea behind Cresselia is it also goes for Psy Shock, Moon Blast, and it has Moonlight for Sustain, so that's going to be very, very similar to Clefable. Clefable is going to have Moon Blast Flamethrower instead, but Flamethrower does work for its weakness. That Cresselia, it is weak against Dark type Pokemon, so you can Moon Blast that. Clefable is weak against Steel type Pokemon, so you can Flamethrower that. So these Pokemon do cover for themselves really well. What makes Clefable so strong is the Magic Guard or the Unaware ability. Magic Guard means you don't have to like rest or anything, you don't have to worry about status or any kind of indirect damage, and Unaware makes to where if they're setting up Swords Dance, you just bring in Clefable. Say they're Dragon Dance Pokemon, they're doing whatever, you just bring in Clefable, and now all of their setup goes away so it's a good like way to salvage a game Cresselia is a good way to gain control early and then try to pressure from there has moonlight has sustain but then there's also Suicune Suicune has very comparable stats 20 less on the hit points and then a couple less on the defense and special defense so even Suicune the ultimate Crocoon tank isn't gonna be as tanky as a Cresselia but the typing is a bit more consistent and it also does have the scald so you can reduce them with a burn which makes you more physically defensive and it's just a really interesting interaction if we want to use a Calm Mind Pokemon to kind of go for a hard sweep, these Pokemon can sweep after a Calm Mind, and it's pretty scary. Now, Suicune doesn't have sustain, so it has to go with Rest, Sleep Talk, Calm Mind, and then one move. Cresselia could also do that. That you take out Psy Shock and Moonlight, and then you just have Calm Mind Moon Blast. That's still going to be pretty powerful, but it's not going to be the most powerful options that you have, because then, then you lose the stab Psy Shock, and you can get specially walled by a couple of Pokemon. But overall, this is kind of what we're looking at in singles. Now, in doubles, sometimes people just ignore the Cresselia. It's like, alright, it's just going to throw out an Icy Wind, it's just going to go for something. And then next thing you know, it starts setting up Calm Mind. 
And that's where Cresselia starts getting very, very dangerous, is when Cresselia starts setting up Calm Mind in doubles, because it's like, okay, I have to like three shot this Pokemon, so that's gonna take a couple turns to remove it. And if you're not directly two shotting it, then it just sets up a Moonlight, which means now you're going to just not be able to kill this Pokemon, while the other Pokemon, which could be a Mega, which could be a Sweeper, is going to town on your team. So it's a very dangerous Pokemon, but you also lose a lot of support. That instead of supporting with Cresselia, now the other Sweeper Pokemon gets blown up while Cresselia is trying to set up, but Cresselia can still go for a very hard late game. That say you remove all the other sweepers on the opponent's team, and now it's just like a plus four Calm Mind Cresselia versus three Pokemon. In some situations, Cresselia can win that battle. It's like Moonblast, okay, I destroy you, now I Moonlight back up. Moonblast, alright, destroyed another Pokemon, now I get to Moonlight back up. Sometimes you just get into some, some weird situations, so double setup Calm Mind can be pretty big, but it's also going to be pretty susceptible to taunt. That if you taunt it, well now it just has a couple of weak offensive moves, and that can be pretty bad. But Cresselia does have a lot of craziness. Now, as for the toolkit that is Cresselia, let's just go and look at this very non-standard strategy. That, that this is Mark McQuillan's Cresselia, and he won the Senior Division World Championship for 2015. Which means that this is a World Championship Cresselia right here, but it's not a very standard Cresselia at all. It does have a lot of different things, and it is meant to work with the team. That, that's, that this Cresselia shows the idea of what Cresselia is about. It's meant to work with the team. You have Trick Room options right here. You also have Skill Swap. The idea was you set up Trick Room, you have Heatran Protect, then you Skill Swap, Levitate onto Heatran, and now it loses some of its biggest weaknesses, and then you can kind of keep supporting it from there. Toxic for damage, and then Ice Beam to knock out Dragon-type Pokemon. There's a Mega Salamence, it doesn't want to need an Ice Beam. Now, while it might not find a direct KO, it's still going to be a substantial amount of damage, and it's going to make it really easy to pick off while still being an incredible tank, and this Cresselia has Mental Herb. That way it can't get taunted, so the Trick Room will go off, and then you can kind of play it out from there depending on how your opponent plays. And then Skill Swap can also be used offensively as well, that you're getting rid of Parental Bond, you're getting rid of Huge Power, Pixelates, Aerialates, whatever your opponent needs to have, and Cresselia just, if Cresselia doesn't want to do anything, it doesn't need to Toxic, it doesn't need to Ice Beam, just removing your opponent's strength through Skill Swapping. Cool, they gain Flash Fire if you're not hitting them with Fire-type moves, you're gonna be just fine, and that just kind of shows what Cresselia can do. As for the other things of Cresselia, we mentioned Trick Room, but Cresselia is going to be a huge speed control Pokemon, that it either wants to run Icy Wind or Thunder Wave. With Thunder Wave, you're getting specific targets, and you're going to be able to really handicap them. 25% chance that they are inactive for that turn, and they lose a lot of their speed, so now it's just going to be almost impossible for them to get back in the game with any kind of speed. That against the Tailwind team, Icy Wind might taper off, but Thunder Wave makes sure that Pokemon isn't going anywhere. Then with that, you want to have Ice Beam, just again for the coverage, Helping Hand, and this was supposed to be Protect. So with Protect, that means like, okay, they think you're... They, mm. Okay, they think they're going to get some damage onto Cresselia. Nothing is more upsetting than a Cresselia with Protect. Like, you focus it down, you're like, alright, that Cresselia's at half. It's going down this turn, and that's the turn it protects. Wait, it was supposed to be Helping Handing, it was supposed to be Ice Beaming me. Nope, it protected, and now the opponent's Sweeper just gets free reign. Also, Helping Hand. Helping Hand has increased priority, so that means Helping Hand is going to go off. Cresselia tanks the hit because it's an absolute beast. If it, do if it does take too much damage, there's still a Citrus Berry waiting for it. And then you can just kind of get bonus damage onto your po Pokemon that's already going for huge damage. An Aerial Late Hyper Voice Mega Salamence Helping Hand Boosted Shenanigans. That's just going to be too much for a lot of Pokemon to handle. And Griselia is just going to be like, Alright, I'm going to make it to where I don't do anything this turn, except make you 50% stronger. And that's a fair trade that a lot of Pokemon want to take. So that's an option. Instead of Protect, you can also have Moonlight. That way, Citrus Berry plus Moonlight. Getting 75% of your health in one turn as a Pokemon this tanky? That's just wrong. And then again, Icy Wind. Now, if you're running Icy Wind, you probably won't want the Ice Beam, because then you're just doubling down to Ice. Moonblast works out as well. That we can get the single target damage down and the good coverage from Moonblast. You also have Psy Shock for Stab. But Moonblast, Icy Wind, going to be some pretty solid coverage as well. And then there's also some different item options. Safety Goggles. A lot of people like running a Moongus. Well, with Safety Goggles, Spore is not going to affect you, and other weather conditions aren't going to chip you down, so that's something you will see on a Cresselia from time to time, or a Rocky Helmet. That since it is very susceptible to knockoffs and just direct damage, that Pokemon's trying to get physical with you, then you just bounce back some damage with a Rocky Helmet. Even if you lose it from the knockoff, you're still getting a good trade, and then that gives you a little bit of damage while you're setting up Icy Wind and while you're setting up some other things. Again, it's about what your team wants, that if you have an Intimidate Pokemon, you might want to put some more special defense investment. If you want it to just be a pure physical wall, depending on what the meta's running, you can do something like that. You just play around it, and Cresselia can be very rewarding in that regard. And also, you know, we can still run the Calm Mind Psy Shock. It just set, it's either set up a support, a little bit of damage, speed control, it does whatever. 
That's a very, very reliable Trick Room Pokemon. One of the best Trick Room Pokemon in the game, because it's so tanky. You slap a Mental Herb on it, you give it Trick Room, and nothing is going to stop it unless you get double focus. Like, they hit you with a Fake Out, they also hit you with a Taunt, that way you're not doing anything next turn. That's kind of the only thing that you can do to shut down a Cresselia. And if you have Quick Guard, then that means Cresselia is always getting that Trick Room. So, there's a lot of interesting things about Cresselia that means it's always going to get a Trick Room off. Also, the Icy Wind, good damage against Dragon-type Pokemon, very reliable. Just does all sorts of things. It can stall, it can status. It's just a very, very mean Pokemon that really, you have to go up against it or you have to play with it a bit to understand how tanky this Pokemon really is. That while you look at numbers and go, that's a lot of numbers. You don't experience those numbers until you're trying to four shot a Cresselia and it still won't go down when you think you're hitting it with some pretty decent hits. So that's Cresselia. Absolute beast support Pokemon in doubles can still set up like the best of the combine Pokemon in singles So if you guys enjoyed the video, that's how you use Cresselia, and I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you for watching